Hi traders, 21st of July 2016. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the triple MA crossover system with the Java interface. So I'm just going to load a chart and I'm going to get rid of the standard default indicators which come up. And I'm now going to load the FXA triple MA crossover alert from my indicators folder. Make sure I allowed the LL imports is ticked. And now we see this no JFX interface loaded. And you'd expect to see that because there isn't an interface running to control the system. So go down to your scripts folder and drag the launch JFX interface onto your chart. If you've already configured your user reference, unique reference number and ID, and click the remember login details, you'll see these. this will be remembered. Click customer login. And simply to get rid of this error message on the screen, just change the time frame and your indicator comes up. So that's now set that up as a template. So I'm going to save that template as triple uh, MA. I've already got a template with that name. I'm going to replace it. Then if I load a series of charts and then again load that template, loading the euro dollar and so on so you can very quickly deploy your your system and obviously to make changes to the comparisons in the interface you go to the triple moving average interface using the product catalog and then click on the chart and that will basically change the selected chart to the one that you're looking at so every time you change charts, let's just move, resize the interface window slightly so we can access the charts. So if I get a US dollar CHF M1, click on the chart, and you can see that selected chart has now been applied to the interface in the same way I'm doing it with the Euro dollar M1. So to make a change to that long period moving average to say 200 periods, you can see that change has now been rippled through. So Let's talk about what happens when you close the interface and then close MT4 and reload it. So I'm just logging out of the interface. I'm closing MT4. And what I'm now going to do is open MT4 again. And you can see those charts that we've had before have been remembered. We've got the interface not loaded warning. So we just launch the interface again. Log in. And to get rid of the warning, just simply change the time frame on each chart. Okay, let's talk about profiles. So, so we've got this Euro dollar H1 with a 200 period moving average. If I want to copy that profile to all the time frames for that particular Euro dollar H1 chart, if I click copy profile to all time frames, and then if I then change the time frame to say H4, you can see. We've got a 5, 10, 200 moving average setup. M30, exactly the same. M15, exactly the same. 5, 10, 200. So in the same way, I can change maybe the short-term moving average line width to a thick red color. And then if I copy that to all time frames for that asset, you'll see that on every chart now we have a thick red line in the same way if i click copy profile to all time frames on all charts i'll do that now you can now see if i just minimize that you can see now so we've got the same profile rippled across all time frames on all charts and then when you close mt4 so close the interface completely come out of the product catalog Close MT4, reopen MT4, load the interface, scroll through the time frames, and those changes are still reflected. So, double checking 5, 10, 200 on the 
moving image periods. So you can see now see that you've got complete control over the system.